Good afternoon and welcome to Coda Bear's Lunch and Learn. My name is Michael Potlin and today we are going to be talking about how to add watermarks to an SSRS report. Quick overview of today's topic. We're going to talk about what you need to create a watermark. We're going to talk about how to add watermarks to a report, creating the image, the watermark image file, adding your watermark image file to the SSRS report, and how to set the tablet's background to have the watermark image show on the report. We're also going to talk about setting up a watermark on a report as a dynamic, modifying the tablet's background image to use an expression to show or hide the watermark on the report. Watermarks are not really available with SSRS reports, but you can set the background image on a report tablet's and its property to clear to simulate a watermark. This seems to work very well for exporting the report to PDF and TIF formats. I will now walk you through some of the steps on creating a watermark image file, adding it to your report, and setting up the tablet's background image in order for the watermark to display. What you're going to need. You're going to need an application to create and edit an image file and create a watermark image. The um, formats that are supported in SSRS reports are JPEG, GIF, PNG, and BMP files. Any type of image editing tool that can create and edit these type of files will work for creating your watermark. You will need access and editing capabilities to your SSRS reports in which you want to add your watermark to. You will want to have access to the report server SQL database if you wish to preview and test your report. Create your watermark image. Create an image to the approximate size of the tablets in the SSRS report. I have found that uh, roughly 792 by 792 pixels seems to work fairly well for a standard 8.5 by 11 uh, report. Now go out to your SQL server with your SSRS reports and find the report that you want and open the report in Report Builder. Your next step is to add the image to the SSRS report. On the left hand side you can go to the Report Data column and select the image. Right click, click Add Image, go out and find the image file that you created with your image editing tool and add your image to the report data. Your next step is to set the background image of the uh, for your watermark. You'll want to click on your tablet's control in the report, go to the properties tab on the right and look for the background image section. You'll want to set your source to embedded you're going to want to set your value to the image file that you added just in the previous step. And then if you go to preview and run your report, you will notice that your watermark is now displayed on the center of the tablet's control. If uh, it's not displayed, you'll probably want to check the background field on your tablet's controls to make sure that they are transparent or clear. You can try exporting the report to PDF and print it out to see how well your watermark appears. Now let's say you want to use your watermarks to for something other than like a logo, something that was a dynamic uh, display. Uh, let's say we want to have a large closed uh, watermark on POs that are closed so that if we go to print them out you can quickly identify the fact that the PO is closed. With the same steps we're going to go to the report data definition and we're going to add a watermark or an image um, of a large red closed word. We can then go back to our tablet's properties and the source is still going to be embedded but this time the value we're going to select as an expression and in the expression tab we're going to give it a field 
So let's say if the first report label of the PO header is closed, we want the value to be true, or basically we're going to want to display the watermark image closed. If it is false, meaning that the PO is still open, we're going to set the expression so that it does not show any image. So now that uh, we've added a dynamic watermark to our PO, we can try it and print two different POs, one that's open and one that's closed. And as you can see, the closed PO uh, displays a large red closed watermark, whereas the open shows a regular PO report. That concludes our Lunch and Learn for today. Thank you for attending today's session.